Hey everyone, Dan here. I have a few tickers to look at to sort of put some price targets to as we enter the week ahead. And if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. Let's get right into it. So PayPal, I had somebody ask if I would do a review of PayPal, um, so I'm happy to do that. I was playing this one quite a bit last year during the recovery, and you know it has continued to have a really great run. Um, so what I would be looking for here is if there is going to be a bit of a pushback on PayPal, um, this green zone here to buy would be really interesting to me. Um, what I think may be happening with PayPal is it may, so it's developed these gaps recently and it does have a strong history of filling gaps. So, you know, what may be happening is that it needs to come down basically below this gap. So this is why I have this 223 support. Um, you know, but I would be interested in sort of like buying it up if it does push down to the gap. And, you know, if it fills it there and then retraces and comes back up to fill it again, that would just be um, a great scenario, a great opportunity to buy in, in my opinion. Uh, and then it may also be coming up to fill this gap and then this gap as well. Uh, so, that would be sort of what I'd be looking for if the movement does turn down, that, that that's kind of the reason why. Uh, and then I'd be looking for it to get into this purple um, box after it fills those gaps, or if it actually doesn't come down to fill the gaps. This is where I'd be looking for it to go this coming week, uh, say 259 up to 265, uh, I guess 266 would be kind of a, a really good push in my opinion. I don't know that there's a ton of momentum for, for it to break a lot higher than that, but you never know. Um, here's what sort of like the broader chart looks like. But you see these previous gaps, you know, that uh, I think that, that this purple box essentially is lining up with this gap, which it filled on the way down, but has not filled on the way up. So it still needs to do that. Um, but as we have seen here, you know, it does fill and refill old gaps, for sure. All these got filled. Um, and remember, with the fill, we look for it to come down, and it fills it from the top down, and then it comes and it fills it from the bottom up. And then sometimes that can sort of like end that price movement, which is what we saw there, and then it sold off. Um, so those are my thoughts on PayPal. Good luck if you're in that one, or if you get into it. HOL we have not looked at before, but I wanted to sort of share what I'm seeing here. So I do think that there's like a nexus coming up on HOL where uh, this higher low situation is going to run into this lower high situation. And there will be sort of this yellow box of truth <laughs> that it's going to enter. And it'll be interesting to see what happens when, when it gets there, you know. So that'll happen. Um, it should just be in like a day or two uh, in the like low 14 to, to mid 14 range. And that will likely signify some sort of larger price movement, be it bullish or bearish. Um, there is this gap here that I'm looking for it to fill. And, um, you know, it would be sort of like coming up to the point where it has filled it now, but then needs to come back down to continue to finish filling it. Uh, the other thing that I look out for, if it does have uh, sort of like a pattern of filling gaps, would be if it's coming down to fill this one. So it'd be sort of like um, the case for HOL coming up to like low 14s as the week opens and then working its way down into 1375 range and then continuing to sell off all the way down to like 12 essentially and then pushing off high 11s or 12 and coming back up and filling that again. So that may be a, a good opportunity to buy in if you're not already in this. Uh, and might be something to look for if you're not sure what to do and you're holding uh, a current position. You know, if it does get down there, this like high 11s range would be something that I would look at to sort of see what it does there. Um, you know, so if you hold down through that range, it may just be filling that gap. And you may not need to panic if that is sort of like a palatable 
holding uh, zone for you. All right. And then Schrodinger, uh, SDGR, was also one that somebody had asked me to take a look at, so happy to do that. Um, if, you know, you guys want any analysis videos, you know, you go ahead and leave it in the description below, or you can tweet it at me, uh, at Dan underscore Coil. I'll put that in the description, and, you know, happy to to sort of take ideas. So on the one hour chart, um, I see basically gaps. So what I'd be looking for with SDGR is for it to establish like this pattern of filling gaps, which if that's the case on this one, uh, it would essentially have a couple of things happening. One, there's this gap here um, from like, say, just say 96 to 98, that it could be coming up to fill right now. Um, but then I would actually be looking for it to sell off into this 70 and then even down into this mid 60s range to fill these gaps. Uh, and again, this is if it sort of proves out to be a, a gap filler. Not all stocks are consistent with filling gaps, but for the ones that are, it can be a pretty reliable um, scenario to, to look out for and to chart and then watch the price action flow in and out of those gaps. And, and trade off of that activity as you will. So these are the zones that I'd be looking for. Um, Schrodinger, again, pushing up to fill this gap on the upside, 96 to 97, 98. Um, you know, f sort of finishing to fill this one right now, which is high 70s into the low 80s. But uh, again, if it does turn downward, here's what I'd be looking for. First of all, I'd be looking for it to definitely hold this 64 dollar mark. On the downside, but you know, if it does fill this gap, that's going to be in the mid 60s. If it fills this gap, that's going to be in the say $70 area. Um, and you know, so there's definitely bullish gaps to fill and bearish gaps to fill. So that's why it'll be interesting to see if this one plays out. It could have some wild swings coming up as it sort of tackles all of that um, gap in the price action of previous um, activity. So that's all for this video. Uh, thanks a bunch for watching. And again, if you would like me to look at any particular stocks or tickers, you can put them in the comments below. You can tweet them at me. Uh, I think that's basically all of our, all of our uh, possible <laughs> communication options at this point. But um, yeah, thanks a bunch. Good luck if you're in these um, or you know whatever plays you're in. And I'll see you all in the next video.